morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Jaroslav Kuchov. I represent uh, Equinox Company. Uh, I live in Poland, in Warsaw. Uh, and apologize for uh, doing this presentation in English. Uh, my Czech language is uh, not that good. I can understand some words, but what I wanted to tell you, I prefer to talk in English, and I'm sure you, you understand uh, everything. Uh, uh, in Polish language, there are some words that have completely opposite meaning than in Czech language, so I prefer, uh, I'm on a safe position to, to, uh, to speak today in English. Uh, okay, I represent uh, Equinox Company. For those of you who don't know Equinox Company, I just wanted to tell you this is uh, an European vendor, one of the leading vendor uh, which provides uh, optical network solutions, mainly based on TWDM technology. So Equinox uh, was founded uh, 16 years ago by two uh, leaders, R&D leaders from Alcatel, uh, François Xavier and Jean-Luc. Uh, those guys were working on G709 forward error correction, and they brought this uh, expertise uh, to Equinox uh, company. I would like to also take this opportunity to thank you, uh, RLC, for inviting Equinox. We are very happy to start uh, working with uh, RLC as RLC is uh, a really well, well known uh, uh, company, uh, local uh, company with uh, a very high competences in optical um, uh, solutions. Uh, today I'm going to, because we, we, we have a, uh, very soon there is a coffee break, so I, I promise not to uh, keep you. Uh, not keep uh, this uh, presentation session long. Uh, so the, my presentation is about uh, encryption, about security. I just want to, uh, I don't want to, pro to, to, to present only uh, products and solutions, I just want to increase our, uh, and share some of my knowledge and experience to just increase the awareness of uh, security. Uh, as there are more and more data to, to, to be transmitted, we have just uh, heard about a coherent 100 gig, 200 gig, 400 gig, uh, and the limit, and also we, we are going to show you the, uh, more about on, uh, what we are doing on uh, security to make sure that the transport end-to-end -end on TWDM uh, system is fully secured. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a fundamental question. Do you know where your data is? I just wanted to show you one of the reports from Gemalto. Gema, according to Gemalto, which is an international security company, uh, just within five years, starting from 2013 until 2017, uh, around 15 billion records were uh, lost or stolen. Uh, and the report says that just during the first half of 2018, uh, we had 3.3 uh, billion records of data that were compromised or uh, uh, stolen. So every hour you can see Seven, more than 700,000 uh, records are compromised. So just during these three, four minutes of my presentation, we know and we are aware that uh, 20,000 of records of data are, someone is trying to, uh, uh, those data are at risk and someone is trying to uh, to steal the data. Uh, so this is uh, uh, so our data uh, are at risk. Uh, 
the trend is that we are, we all are using uh, the latest technology. We are migrating, uh, mobile operators are migrating to 5G very, very soon. Uh, we will see, well, we have already seen the application like Internet of Things, so there is no uh, option to, uh, to send the traffic without good security mechanism and this is what we encourage our customers and partners to consider. 94% uh, of mid-sized large companies uh, use these transformation technologies and the uh, majority of the traffic is now running on the uh, cloud applications. So this is very important to, uh, to make sure that those data are fully secured. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to talk uh, more about the technology, uh, as this is DWDM Summit, I just want to make sure that uh, uh, I pass them the right message to you as uh, the data, the bitrate of the line side of the transponder or max ponder in DWDM uh, systems, the bitrate is increasing. So you can see that thanks to the technology, this is fantastic, uh, uh, this is fantastic technology uh, that is available on the market and we can use the, the coherent technology uh, the, 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 the uh, sales cycle has shortened and we can see that the, there is a 80 times, the increase is 80 times just from starting from 2000 up, uh, up to uh, 2020. Uh, so it's important to make sure that uh, the data in DWDM platform are uh, encrypted, can be encrypted, it's not a, this is some option that uh, our customer, our customers can uh, use for uh, just considering implementing the new wafer. Of course there are some other uh, technologies to encrypt the data like layer 2 and layer 2 and layer 3, but it looks that if we look at the, at the uh, and compare different technologies, there are of course some uh, disadvantages and advantages, pros and cons. So I just want to uh, present today layer one encryption solution, uh, which is 100%, the throughput is 100%, there is no limitation on number of services or uh, type of services actually. So all about of course Ethernet, but we are talking about not only about Ethernet, but also fiber channel uh, services. Uh, so, uh, just, just an example to give you the, uh, uh, the, the idea of the uh, data breaches from 2018. Uh, so this is global, this is not only from Europe, but uh, uh, probably T-Mobile, I'm sure you've heard about T-Mobile, or Vodafone, uh, it was I think last year at uh, T-Mobile uh, where data uh, were stolen. So these are the, uh, the, the information from also from the report. Uh, what is the number one security? security uh, what is the number the, the, uh, among uh, service providers? What is the key? Uh, to make sure that the, 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 the migration towards uh, cloud uh, technologies uh, secure is just, uh, of course, security is, is number one uh, uh, concern. Uh, what we are, and I'm, I'm here just, uh, it's my uh, pleasure to just tell you some of the options uh, to make sure that uh, encryption a mechanism can be used in optical transport. Uh, uh, I would like to show you, I would like to present an encryption solution just between two locations. So it's of course mainly dedicated for data center, but uh, as, uh, as, as you could see on my title of the presentation, it's not just on the short uh, distance, 
It can be on the access side, it can be metro, it can be also ultra local networks because, the, because of the product capabilities of the coherent, with the coherent technology. So I'm going, what I'm going to tell you is I'm going to show you this in-flight encryption between two locations. Uh, of course, uh, we are all aware of uh, regulatory uh, environment, especially in Europe, GDP, GDPR environment. So there will be more and more focus on security, uh, I'm sure, especially when uh, 5G technologies uh, is coming. Uh, let me just present you some possible options for uh, to encrypt the data. Uh, Equinox, uh, we are a DWDM system vendor, so we provide hardware and software uh, for operators, and we focus on. We started actually uh, working on local and ultra local uh, submarine. Uh, systems between Europe, US, between Asia, Australia, uh, Asia. So the capability of Equinox is uh, the key capability is ultra long haul, thanks to the uh, coherent technology and also uh, the unique technology of Equinox, which is dynamic forward error correction. So I just on this slide I would like to show you we focus on metro part of the network. We focus on uh, the main core, the core business of the company is Alien Wavelength. So we are recognized as an Alien Wavelength supplier, so we can uh, run Alien Wavelength across any other DWDM system like uh, Huawei, OSN Sirius, or Infinera, Siena, uh, Nokia. Uh, so this is important, and this is thanks to the uh, dynamic forward error correction. We are playing in the same league as big ones like Siena and Infinera on the ultra local uh, distances. Uh, data center interconnection, I would like to show you some options for also uh, to uh, encrypt the data uh, on uh, layer one, on DWDM side. And uh, mobile front call, mobile back call, this is also part of our uh, uh, business. So innovation is there are Two big innovations from uh, as a uh, heart of the of the system of Equinox. This is T chip. This is transport on the chip. This is uh, like FPGA concept that we are able to uh, program the the, the the chip into any uh, available protocol that is needed to transport, like 10 gigabit Ethernet, as Team 64, OTU, OTU2, 40 gigabit Ethernet, 100 gigabit Ethernet. Uh, 400 gigabit Ethernet, and of course coherent technology. So uh, we are now uh, launching our first 600 gig single carrier products, which also support encryption on the line side, which is very very important. So we are one of the leaders on the coherent uh, technology. Uh, I would like to show you the just. Uh, the slide with uh, our crypto card. So this is uh, this is an aggregator card uh, with possibility to have either 10 times 10 gigabit Ethernet multi protocol, which can be from one gig uh, to 16 gig fiber channel, uh, or there is also an option to use 100 gigabit Ethernet uh, QSFP28 on the client side. On the line side, there is OTN format, OT4, and the encryption engine is located on the on the lines on the line side. So this is uh, this is a uh, two five uh, two hundred fifty six uh, base encryption uh, AS two five six protects data in flight, and this is hardware based. This is not uh, layer two, layer three. This is this is a true layer uh, one encryption engine. We are compliant to FIPS 142 uh, regulation requirements. So, bulk encryption for high speeds. So, I'm, I'm not talking only about 10 gig or 16 gig fiber channel or STM64. We are going to talk 
about high bitrate, like 100 gig, 200 gig, 400 gig, 600 gig uh, on a single wavelength. So this is an example uh, how we can encrypt the data end to end in a point to point scenario. Uh, there is a possibility to aggregate uh, multiple uh, protocols into the same line interface or just 100 gigabit Ethernet can be also transported on the old U4. There is a possibility as this is uh, the line interface on the old U4 cards is old U4 based on QSFP28, pluggable QSFP28 with a maximum uh, distance of 40 kilometers. The other option for DWDM applications uh, is to use uh, just uh, to interconnect line signal with uh, client signal of the flex rate cards. Flex rate is our family of uh, coherent 100 gig from 100 gig to 600 gig single carrier solution. So this is just an example of how to encrypt 100 gigabit Ethernet or multiple aggregate, multiple uh, low rate signals up to 16 gig fiber channels and then encrypt on the line side and transport in DWDM using uh, uh, DPQPSK modulation or 16 QAM because the line interface here is uh, the purple line that represents the 200 gig uh, uh, interface 200 gig so two times 100 gig can be aggregated into 200 gig uh, interface uh, let me just show you very quickly the Diffie-Hellman uh, Diffie principle because we use elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman uh, to agree on the secure on the on the keys between the between the two locations. So if you can imagine bo both ends, there is Alice and Bob. Uh, there is a fiber between or any DWDM system or just type dark fiber. Uh, the, en the encryption engine on the card generates the uh, key one, which is a local private key, at both ends. Uh, and then there is a, uh, they exchange the public keys from one to another node and vice versa. There is also a generation of private key per each, each individual node. So based on the, those two public and uh, the calculation of public and uh, private key, uh, the Diffie-Hellman algorithm uh, agrees to uh, exchange the shared secret key one. So there is a key one, let's say, uh, the, the fundamental key uh, which is uh, to secure the data, the payload. Uh, the process is done automatically by the crypto modules, so there is no any user intervention, there is just an uh, uh, automatic process. Uh, there might be a risk for a man in the, man in the middle attack, like if is trying to maybe retrieve some data from Bob or, or Alice. Uh, in order to prevent this uh, uh, attack, because it's also possible to put maybe some other uh, crypto or uh, dec decrypto mechanism in the middle. So there is a process, there is additional level of security, uh, and this is authentication which must be done on, on, at both ends. So this is just to make sure there is no, uh, to avoid many in the middle attack, so there is another layer of the security, which is for us K2 level, which is authentication. So we need to put the 256 key on both nodes, or we can let the management system, uh, because this, is, this can be managed also by the software, uh, which uh, also is provided with the crypto card. So the OTU4 is running, uh, transporting the data, the payload, and encryption engine adds the, the security on the line side. Uh, just want to show the example because uh, 
I would kind of like to invite you to our booth Equinox, very close to the Al Telecom. Uh, we have C200 chassis, which is two rack unit chassis with six slots. Uh, crypto occupies two slots. Uh, this is just very easy and uh, uh, not expensive. The, the cost is very similar to standard aggregation of 10 times 10 gig or just 100 gigabit Ethernet to 100 gigabit Ethernet. Uh, so this is, this is very important that we allow our partners, customers to use uh, encryption. We don't charge per license. There is no any license. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a mechanism. It's just a uh, uh, encryption uh, mechanism on the line side. Uh, always secure. There is no option to. There is no option to switch the encryption off. This is always uh, running. Uh, service flexibility. It provides service flexibility. As I mentioned, this is for 10 gigabit Ethernet, 40 gigabit Ethernet, fiber channel. We are also working on 32D fiber channel, but now we see up to 16D fiber channel, SDH OTM. Uh, so this is on the single model, this is uh, possible to uh, aggregate or transport the data. Scalability, I'm just, uh, I would like to show you just three very simple examples of using encryption in your network, because it, you may use your, DW, your own DWDN network, but you may, you may uh, lease some uh, capacity from other operator. I'm, I would like to show you the, the possibility to send uh, encryption traffic using crypto and FRSO2, which is our 200 gig card. The first case, uh, this is, uh, there are just three simple cases. So the first case is just using Equinox network, Equinox DWDM network, because we provide flex RODAM architectures with amplifiers, at Faraman amplifiers, uh, eight channel system, uh, uh, with amplifiers, with compensation of course, but as we, we were using coherent detection, we don't, we don't need to use any uh, external dispersion, chromatic dispersion compensation. So in, in my first example is just Crypto card is connected to the existing Equinox network. So this is very easy. We add card to existing network. The second option, I think, which is very, very unique, is Alien Wavelength. So uh, I'm working here in the region in Eastern Europe. Uh, I'm responsible for nine countries, and I see that. Uh, there are a lot of networks based on Huawei system or Nokia system or Adva system. So uh, we, we don't want to, you know, uh, propose, of course we can propose alternative system, but what we are trying to achieve with our customers is to, to give alternative, to use Alien Wavelength solution, because this is proof for the ultra local uh, uh, capability. This is with ultra local capability. So the second example, this is just adding crypto with our flex rate uh, coherent model and then inject into existing Max, DMAX or Rodom networks. This is very easy and I, I, I must tell you that the OSNR performance on the flex rate cards, I saw an example with Infinera uh, world record for the long distance and as far as I may remember, 18 terabit per second using XTS 3300. So the performance is on the line side is very similar to the ultra long haul system of Infinera or Siena. So that's why Equinox is qualified. The, 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 the key customer of Equinox in France is Orange. So Orange is using uh, Equinox Alien Wavelength on Nokia and Huawei system. So this is very easy to add in this side, second very simple example, encryption as an alien wavelength. The, the third one, the last use case, uh, is using also existing OTM. Uh, there are a lot 
lot of OTN networks in Europe uh, are also based on uh, either on, uh, or on Huawei or either on uh, Nokia or any other third, uh, third uh, DWD on third uh, party. So, because on the crypto solution, there is OTN interface. This is OTU4 interface. So it can be easily connected to OTN. I'm not talking about OTN interoperability between line side. I'm just showing the option to add encryption into OTN and to connect to the OTU, OTU4 into the existing OTU4 client interface. So this, all three cases are possible and can be also managed by our management system. So, the last thing what I wanted to tell you when it comes to the hardware is the very innovative and very unique solution which also supports uh, encryption on the line side. So we just launched uh, last year the card with 600 gig, uh, the selectable interface from 100 gig to 600 gig. Okay. And the encryption engine is located on the line side. So currently we are working on enabling this encryption by the software. And this will be possible for our customers to just enable also AS256 uh, encryption on the line side. So this is just, of course, both options are possible uh, depending on the situation in the network using different modulation from QPSK, which is the OSNR is uh, lower than 11 dB, so this is ultra long haul, 64 quants for 600 gig, but of course 600 gig will be limited to maybe to uh, 100 kilometers, 150 kilometers, depending on the OSNR. Uh, this is just an example. I'm here just to show you also the cards, 600 gig, uh, FRS, the name is 400 FRS04, but it has six interfaces on the client side and one interface which can be re programmed according to the needs of the customer. So depending on the different options, this is also, uh, this supports encryption. Uh, just a short summary. Uh, I like this first uh, uh, comment. Non-compliance with the GDPR is not an option. So there are many operators uh, which are now considering encryption to not even to not replace the existing uh, system, but to add encryption on uh, if 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 it's possible just to add as a wavelength based on the wavelength. Uh, always secure uh, and of course capable to to. Uh, support uh, multiple protocols. Uh, two last slides about Equinox company. So our mission is to deliver open and interoperable solution layer one, layer two, layer three. Uh, Equinox recently acquired one access company. So you can see that Equinox is only layer one vendor. So we provide only photonic layer and transponders, maxponders with coherent detection. We started from ultra long haul metro access, and, and one access company is a, is a producer of uh, uh, virtual CPE software, uh, SD1 solution, layer two, layer three solution. So we are going to, to use the competences of uh, one access also. Techinops and Equinox, we are put, we are now installing 10 gig uh, um, products into the layer 2, layer 3 uh, solution. So we provide uh, wavelengths from, of course, from 100 meg, the service from 100 meg up to 600 uh, gig. And this is just to show you that this is a global uh, company with offices in Europe and uh, US. This is like 50% of the business is done in Europe and in in, in the US, uh, 400 staff, uh, 500 centers, and we are uh, we are validated as a, also NFV and SDN vendor for by tier one operators, but this is on one access sites. Uh, 
uh, of the business. So thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I think I can now invite you for uh, for a break, coffee break, and uh, please feel free uh, to come to uh, to our booth. <laughs>